Hello everybody, this is a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. I recently replaced uh, the hard drive on this machine. I installed a brand new SSD drive and I was trying to install a new window system on it through a flash drive. And I got this message that says the internal hard disk drive not found, which means that the laptop doesn't recognize the, the new hard drive. And it won't let me boot from the flash drive, even the DVD drive too. So this might be the case of other Dell models and series. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. Actually, it's not a problem. It's just uh, a setup configuration to the boot options. So I've seen some people saying that this message means that your hard drive is bad or damaged. It might be but in my case it's not because I just installed a brand new hard drive and I've seen some people saying oh you have to remove your battery and put it back and that might, might fix the problem and I've seen some people saying that you have to do uh, a diagnosis by pressing F5 also, I've seen on uh, the Dell on the Dell forums some some Dell technicians saying that you have to download some some kind of Dell utility tool to fix this. But this this is not the case here. So before so if you get this message. Follow my instructions before buying a new hard drive or if you have a case like mine You replaced your your hard your hard drive by a new one and you are trying to Reinstall the window system on your computer and you got this message go ahead and follow these instructions So I'm gonna restart the computer and show you how to fix this. So if you restart the computer, press Control Alt Delete and then press F12 for boot options. Here you go, this is the boot options. It shows their sand disk, that's just my flash drive. So, to modify the boot options, you go down by using the, 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 the direction arrows and select change boot mode setting. And then you press enter and you're gonna get this window that shows change boot mode to legacy boot mode secure boot off so that needs to be on and that will fix your problem so to, to turn it to turn that on just go ahead and press enter you're gonna get this warning message that says do you want to change to a legacy boot mode without secure boot support yes which means in this case okay press enter the machine is gonna restart so to boot from the, the flash drive or from the DVD drive if you are reinstalling your computer 
go ahead and press F12 for boot options and here you go you're gonna get the legacy options which is different from the other boot options so it shows here hard drive if you want to boot directly from the hard drive USB storage device which is a flash memory or a flash drive your CD or DVD device or from network so so if you are reinstalling your your, your computer from uh, a DVD device go ahead and select DVD or if you are using network to to reinstall the system go ahead and select the network and in my case I'm using a flash memory I'm gonna select USB storage device and press enter machine is gonna restart and here you go the laptop is booting from the, the flash memory and the windows is loading the installation the installation files so my computer I, I already installed the computer I'm just showing you how to boot from uh, from external devices to install your machine And here you go, you get the, the installation options, the window installation options. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and reboot the, the, the computer and let the computer boot directly from the, from the hard drive. There you go. That means that the machine is booting from the hard drive. It's on window normally. I just got this error uh, window message because I've been restarting the computer too much. Windows is loading the system files. Welcome. And here you go, you're ready to rock and roll. The machine is a little bit slow because it has just 4 gigabytes in memory. So, so if you get that, that message, go ahead and follow the instruction that I just showed you before before you go and buy a new hard drive it might be just uh, a setup configuration issue thanks for watching see you